In this session, let us try to modify the template we created earlier. Let us once again see how a page created using this template looks like. Log into site admin. Double click AEM company page that you created. If you have not created this page, download the package that I provided in the previous session and then install it. The page appears with the text that we entered in the template. There are three issues associated with this page. Issue number one, there is no place where you can drag and drop a component. If you are not really able to make it out, I suggest you visit one of my previous posts. You could also open one of the pages from the sample website to compare. Uh, let me open one of the sample pages, Java demo site, English. Uh, I will open this company page. This is the area that I mentioned. This is the area from where uh, to where you will drag and drop a component. And you would have observed that the template that we created, uh, we don't have an area like this where you can drag and drop a component. The second issue with this template is that it doesn't have any components in the component tab. You could see that the component tab is totally empty. That means you don't have any components to drag and drop. The third one is that the template is not associated with any design. Our page is really bright really blank it doesn't have anything like header footer and so on uh, let us solve these issues one by one first we will provide a place in the web page to add components log into crst light open the templates rendering script that is apps AM company components homepage body.html. Now let me add a sightly code here. I see this. What we add is a sightly code, code snippet. Data slide resource is a tag to specify the component that you need to add to the page. It has a resource type parameter that points to a process component. You would have noticed that it points to a location where we saw a page component which we inherited while creating a template. Note that this is a standard procedure to provide a location to add components in the template. Let me save this. Now uh, refresh the web page that you created. It is now providing you with a space where you can drag and drop a component. Of course, in the component tab, uh, we don't have any components for the time being, but uh, we are going to fix that in the next stage. So that's about this session. I have provided a new package in GitHub. Please free to download and use it. And this is a summary of what we learned. Use the process component to add space for addition or deletion of components in a web page. You don't need to create a process component. Always reuse the component that exists. Thank you so much for listening. See you soon.